and you don't know where to turn when you find that you're a hellbound rolling stone. Get back on the glory road, lay down your heavy load, cause you're in, in the danger zone. When you get so how are you enjoying the tour, Cole? Oh, time of my life, Daddy. <laughs> I'm sure that no, you No, it's are. great. It's great. Well, it's a great team, isn't it? So that's what makes it. It's a great that's team. What makes it work. Do you find the workload uh, stressful? I mean, would you prefer less gigs or oh, days off? Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. So at, at times you've you've dealt with power on the stage, is that correct? Yeah, it's usually my job to get the maintenance. Can you, um, can you recount to us what happened in uh, Zaragoza in Spain? Yeah, it's a bit of a blur now. I've tried to erase it from my memory. Right. Tell yeah. us what happened. We do, well, the gig started all right, and then um, and we'd had the run through a sound check earlier on, everything was fine. By the time all the punters came in and the lights were all up, the merchandise and stands were lit, the catering stalls were all going. As soon as the band got going as well, we, we lasted about 10 minutes, I think, before the first blackout, the whole thing went off. All our power stage power went off, so we all ran around straight over to the electrical cabinet and found the trips that had gone, set the trips again. Got the show going again. Five minutes later, bang, the whole thing's off again. We were sharing power with all the catering cubicles up on the first floor around right. the balcony. Ah. All the burger stands and no. the... So, there was only one thing to do. We threw their trip out, blacked out all the catering, <laughs> and ours went back on and we made it through the rest of the gig. I've got some pretty good photos of distribution boxes around the back of the, um, the catering area. A wooden box with three brass or copper plates in it and everything just bolted down to it and a plastic gosh. bag over the top. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm now going to connect the lighting ground from the dimmer rack over there on the motor control board they just drove over to the stage right sound distro. We're going to have a tech earth access point. And in theory, that's going to get rid of the buzz. Unfortunately, you will now be able to quote me on that. When you find that you're a hellbound rolling stone, get back on the glory road, lay down your heavy load, cause you're in the danger zone. When you give in to temptation, you know it's going to Yes, we got rid of it. Yes, it's quiet. It's not a surprise, Colin. Turn back, turn back, or you'll find the devil as the heart of stone. Turn back, turn back. Have you ever felt that the band or crew were in danger? And if so, what have you done about it? Run very quickly in the opposite direction, yeah. probably. <laughs> There's still, there'll, be, there'll be a different noise on it now because I've turned the preamps off and that puts a noise on. We've been in danger from weather, I think it's probably the, mo the, the most dangerous aspect of it. And when you get a storm coming out, you wind. can't, wind and, wind and rain, yeah. Do they call you Alfie because you know what it's all about? <laughs> if only I did know what it's all about.